everyone, I'm Brian Cacheco and we are here right now at Itogan Benguet at Alphaland Baguio Mountain Lodges for Miss Universe Philippines 2020. Join me as we check out what the girls are up to right now. Frogro presents Miss Universe Philippines 2020! Miss Misamis Oriental, how are you doing? I'm so excited to be here. It's really cold. I've been looking forward to this for the past few weeks and I'm, so, I'm just so grateful that I can be with my sisters now and really experience the Miss Universe Philippines journey. What are you looking forward to in this trip for Miss Universe Philippines 2020? So I'm looking forward to knowing the stories of my ladies, of our candidates, and just enjoying my experience here. This is my first time to join Miss Universe Philippines, and this is the first ever Miss Universe Philippines. It's such a nice place. We are here right now at Alpha Land Mountain Lodges. Um, first question I would want to ask is, how are your COVID relief efforts? Uh, pagdating sa COVID, uh, kasama namin yung buong mga mayors, 13 mayors, and then yung aming governor. So far, dire-diretso yung mga relief efforts namin. And sa Congress, napak nakapagbigay kami ng mga ibang mga pangangailangan na tulad ng trabaho, uh, tulad ng mga scholarship. So, okay naman. That's good to hear. Um, with respect to that, like, of course, tourism is such a big deal also. And it ties in with how you manage your COVID efforts. So, how would you say your tourism is going back up. Sa ngayon, yung tourism namin is hindi pa open. Hindi pa. But kaya nga ako, nag-host tayo nitong Miss Universe dahil malaki ang may tutulong nito. So ang pinuprove namin dito is habang naka-close pa yung tourism namin and then pinopromote namin yung aming province, pag once na nag-open itong tourism ng Benguet, dadayuhin na tayo ng mga ating mga kababayan sa iba-ibang lugar ng Pilipinas. Yes po, like you said, it's super important. But yeah. can you expound more on how important this Miss Universe Philippines really is for you and for the province of Benguet? Uh, siguro ito yung magiging parang stepping stone namin no, sa tourism. Dahil kung makikita mo ang Benguet, kilala siya parang nasa loob ng Baguio. Eh. Pero in fact, mali. Ang Benguet ay isang malaking-malaking province, then isang maliit na city nasa loob ng Benguet, yung Baguio. Yes, for... So dahil dito ngayon sa Miss Universe na mas maraming manunod na ito eh, for sure, uh, malalaman ng tao na kung gano'ng kaganda ang Benguet. And then ang Benguet pala, doon nang gagaling yung mga beans from Baguio na binibenta sa Baguio. Yung strawberry na binibenta sa Baguio, from Benguet din. So almost all of the products ng Baguio ay ka galing sa Benguet. Oh, that's that's really nice to hear kasi pati ako, like dati, nung pumunta ako dito, like I didn't know na hindi pala to Baguio. <laughs> Benguet pala to and that's really good to know and I hope everyone else knows about it more. Meron pa kami marami mga tourism spot. Hindi lang itong Itogon, yung strawberry farm, hindi lang yun eh. Meron kami Mount Pulag. Meron kami yung atok. Sa atok, yun yung tinatawag na sakura. sakura. Para ka na sa Japan nun. Oh. So bukod dun, marami pa eh. Meron kaming takadang, meron kaming crying mountain. So marami, kaya lang hindi lang siya talaga na po promote. But ngayon ako ang congressman ng Benguet, I will promote, I will do my best para i-promote talaga ang Benguet. So hindi lang dito magtatapos sa Miss Universe to. Ito pa lang yung simula. Ito pa yung simula para sa tourism, tourism of Benguet. Tourism promotion ng province of Benguet. And of course, para malaman din ng ibang tao na yung differences between Baguio and Benguet. Yes, yes. Right. Thank you. Thank you for your time, Congressman. Have a good day.